guys, uh, welcome to another episode of How Does Minecraft Work? We're back in the secret laboratory in the undisclosed location and we're going to have a look at a certain block today. This is one of those blocks that you have to craft yourself, which you can find down in the nether. It's the pillar quartz block and it's one of the decorative items that you can have in the uh, overworld as well as in the uh, nether if you like or if you have more add-ons you can have these on the moon or mars or your space station they have quite a nice texture to them even if you're playing with the normal minecraft texture pack so let's get started here we have flint and steel and a pillar quartz block so let's set it on fire as you can see it is accepting fire when you light it but it will not spread it around this is the usual test we do apply when we test things here in the laboratory. And as you can see, some items refuse to catch fire and others do not. So let's see here. You need a pickaxe and I do believe that a wooden pickaxe will be sufficient to pick one of these up. They aren't that blast resistant, but they do provide a really nice uh, look and feel to them. So if you like to build something like a Colosseum or a temple you can really build some nice pillars like this and it looks like these marble pillars you have in many of those Greek monuments uh, that made Greece really famous all right so how do you craft these well you have to go down into the nether and find the nether courts which you can then craft by putting them on the crafting table or in your inventory slot like this so you craft a block of courts then it's really easy to just place two of these blocks on top of each other and you have two pillar quartz blocks so you get them back even numbers so you get them back one for one now the other one that people confuse with is if you have the quartz slabs and you make them like this this is the chiseled quartz block and it's not the same as the um, pillar quartz block but you do get the same number back and as you can see here if i'm putting down the chiseled quartz block you see they have a different texture to them and this is true also as I said in the default texture pack so let's put this one down here so you can see you can place them in various uh, angles and it depends on how you place them so if you place something down you get them to go well from up to down but if you place them like so you make sure that you tap the side of something you make sure that the lines go this way and with this you can get different textures different looks and feels on anything you create all right let's see we have checked this we have done the fire test and everything so this has been an episode of uh, how does minecraft work and today we've been looking at the uh, pillar uh, pillar of block quartz or pillar quartz block it's even called it's hiding right there my name is Viperbane, and if you like this kind of content, please hit like, subscribe, share it with everyone you know so you help build this channel up and I can bring you more content like this quickly and more regular basis. Until the next time guys, peace out.